Hello and welcome to another video tutorial here on understanding body language. Liars, cheats and happy feet. Hope everyone's okay and having a good Monday. I go on holiday next week and I can't wait. Now then, the interview I've got for you today is this chap. Now I'm sure you're very familiar with who he is, uh, Mr. Justin Bieber. Uh, now recently it's come out that uh, he is alleged to have fathered a, a three-month-old baby boy. Um, as it's circulating in the net, it's on pretty much every, every uh, social networking site you can think of. Um, I've not seen a full interview done about Justin Bieber talking about this um, uh, alleged discretion. However, he has uh, done a little bit of a statement here, which we're going to analyse and see if we can spot anything um, that's worth analysing. So what I'll do, I'll just start the video for you, and I'll make another watch, and we can see if we can spot anything detectable. So, here we go. I'd just like to say basically that none of those allegations are true and, and I know that I know that I'm gonna be a vic I'm gonna be uh, a target but I'm never gonna be a victim or, you know I think it's just it's crazy because every night after the show I'm I'm gone right from the stage right to my car so it's crazy that some people wanna make up such false allegations but Set the record straight, none of it is true. So before we move on to the next bit, we need to uh, pull this one apart slightly. So let's start the video at the very beginning where we came from. Like there we go, I so let's start the video. Under it recently. So I'm starting here. I just like to say basically that none of those allegations are true. And uh, so the the word that jumps out to me there is those. Um, now then, from what I can um, uh, envision so far, is he's only talked about one discretion, which is potentially um, fathering a child with someone. However, he's used the word those, so we're not, he wants to be relatively specific to this case. So what he's done there, he's not actually answered the question. All he's given us there... It's like to say basically that none of those allegations are true. And those allegations. Um, so we need to know, we need to make it specific to the one that he's referring to about this paternity case. But he doesn't answer that because he uses the word those. So he's not made the association about what he's actually talking about is, is this particular allegation there. So he needs to be more specific because don't forget about statement analysis. We have to um, analyze what someone says, not what they might mean or what might be interpreted as. We need to look at the actual language used and the actual language that Justin Bieber used there was an avoidance to not answer that direct question. So that's a warning sign to me already. Watch it again. You found yourself under it recently. Yeah. Some headlines or someone who's filed a paternity suit. Exactly. Saying you're the father of her three month old son. So we've got a specific question. What would you like to say about that? I'd just like to say basically that none of those allegations are true. So we've got from one allegation to those. So that's an interesting start. And, and I know that I know that I'm gonna be a vic I'm gonna be uh, a target. Okay, what we got there is a verbal slip, is when he's about to say, I know. I know I'm going to be a victim. But then he stops. But the shrugs are coming into play now. Note how those shoulders are up and down it's all just, the time. So none of it, again, a better answer there would be I can, can I can uh, completely um, confirm that the allegation is not true, the, instead of those. So an interesting use of language there. So it's crazy that some people want to make up such false allegations, but set the record straight, none of it is true. Do you know this woman? Her name is Mariah Yitter. Have you ever met Never her? Never met the woman. No? Okay. All right, well, obviously this is what... Okay, let's scoot back there. Another hot spot. So, it's crazy that some people want to make up such false allegations, but set the record straight, none of it is true. Do you know this woman? Her name is Mariah Yeter. Have you ever met Never her? met the woman. No? So, okay. All right, well... Okay, so what's interesting there, he says... He, say, he doesn't say I've never. Set the record straight, none of it is true. Do you know this woman? Her name is Mariah Yeter. Have you ever met Never her? Never met the woman. So he doesn't use the the uh, the pronoun I. So he removes the ownership um, from that particular statement. 
And we often remove pronouns uh, when we don't want to associate ourselves with a potential wrongdoing. Like if we've done something wrong, we'll try and remove um, the pronoun I or we. Things like that, things that associate us with um, the person or the crime, possibly. Now, it's interesting to know that there, that Justin Bieber has removed I from that particular statement. He says, never met the girl. And he uses the woman again. So he should have said, a better answer would have me, I've never met Mariah Yeater. However, he uses the word the, which again is indicative of distance. So we've got, again, distancing language and and a removal of the pronoun I. Set the record straight, none of it is true. Do you know this woman? Her name is Mariah Yeater. Have you ever met Never her? Never met the woman. No? So. Okay. All right, well. And what we see there is an example of a micro-expression called contempt which only appears on one side. It's the only asymmetrical facial expression we can make, um, and it's use of the zygomatic major muscles um, and another facial expression, another facial muscle which runs parallel to that here, just down there, called the buccinator. Oh, find your own terminology for that one. Um, but it's interesting to know that we've got all these different um, characteristics here that all weigh up to the same possibility. Uh, right from the stage, right to my car, so... It's crazy that some people want to make up such false allegations, but set the record straight, none of it is true. Do you know this woman? Her name is Mariah Yeter. Have you ever met Never her? met the woman. No? So, okay. no? And we go back to the contempt facial expression here, which another word for contempt is possibly feeling smug. So what we've got here is potential... Um, clusters of uh, a certain behavioural pattern where Justin Bieber potentially isn't revealing everything that he knows about this case and that's why he might flash contempt here which comes on one side of the face so to scoop back he talks about those allegations he's removed the, uh, the pronoun I from his story he's used the woman which is indicative of distance uh, and taking no ownership for the fact uh, and we can see the contempt asymmetrical smile coming in uh, by the use of the zygomatic major, which will pull the cheekbone zzz, that way, um, which is interesting when you start feeling smug or contentful. So there you go. So in that particular segment there, we cannot make an accurate judgment whether Justin Bieber um, knows more than he's, than he's telling on. Or he's letting us know, because bearing in mind we can't make an accurate judgment based on literally 30 seconds of video. I would need to see another video of him talking about this potential paternity case to see that if he deviates away from what he's doing now. Now don't forget about, you see all these body language people coming on saying about baselines, this, that and the other. Disregard that. What we need to look at is clues and gestures to what, that, uh, that reveal um and that so someone's um intentions and thoughts can be detectable so what we're seeing here is clusters of repeated movement which we can clearly see here by uh, inconsistent facial expressions and statement analysis so we can so we've got a, a fairly accurate understanding that potentially justin bieber knows more about this case than he's actually letting on and he might know more about it than we do and that's why he's making that particular asymmetrical gesture so there you go. So you heard it here. You heard it here first, folks. Put my teeth back in. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on this case, um, and we'll see if if the uh, if the truth really does come out in the end. Uh, but Justin Bieber's got loads of money. I'm sure he can support a baby if it all comes out uh, that it's his. So there you go. So anyway, if you'd like to learn more about body language, then please check out my uh, body language page on Facebook. It's called Understanding Body Language. Liars, cheats, and happy feet. Just type that into your Facebook, or you can just click the link below this video. Find me on Twitter as well. It's at Body Language UK. Uh, thank you for all your, your um, kind words and the work I've done on the Lisa Irwin case. If you've not seen my videos, please check them out. I've had a ton of feedback from them, uh, and I thank you very much for your kind regards and showing them out as much as you can. So there you go. So any questions or feedback, again, please let me know. And uh, any questions on my body language pages, please pop them on my wall and I'll do best to answer them when I get back from holiday. So from everyone here understanding body language, liars, cheats and happy feet. Take care and bye bye for now.